some bachelorette bliss. JoJo Fletcher finding love on last night's finale. Now happily engaged to Jordan Rogers. We're going to talk to the happy couple in just a moment. But first, here's a look at their journey. Jordan, I love you so much. I've been waiting to tell you that I love you. JoJo Fletcher's search for love coming down to one big moment. Joel Hannah Fletcher. <laughs> Marry me? Yes. <laughs> Finally, finding the one saying yes to Jordan Rogers' beachfront proposal in Thailand. But before Jordan could pop the question, an emotional roller coaster. It's overwhelming. JoJo torn between the two men that stole her heart. I don't want him to feel it out the pain. The Bachelorette turning to her family for some tough advice. Not that I don't like. Jordan, but I think Robbie is a more husband material for you, baby. I'm yeah. so stressed out yeah, right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Before making this heartbreaking decision. I fell in love with you. But for some reason, my heart is somewhere else. JoJo reuniting with Robbie on the live After the Rose special. Do you ever still picture what a future would be like? The hardest part of that last day was hurting you. I never wanted to hurt you. I never wanted to be the person to cause you any pain. Jordan! Her new fiance later joining the former bachelorette on stage before starting their forever together. We expected there to be bumps, but yeah. she's the person I wanted to do it with and do life with. So let's not wait one more second. Here they are. Come on out, JoJo and Jordan! <laughs> That you guys made it. So much. Nice, nice to see you. Good Hi, Jordan. Good, good to see you. How was flying all night to do this? <laughs> it's a little long. Not bad. No. Kind of sweet. Yeah, it was yeah. easy. So, how does it feel to be out, to be able to oh. sit here on morning television, Good Morning America, and say, yep? We're together. Feels so good. It's so surreal. It feels like it, we thought it took forever, and now it seems like it flew by. It's yeah, really weird. Yeah, it is weird. It's the weirdest thing. And how was it for you watching the um, the episode unfold? You wrote that really nice Instagram, by the way. <laughs> that was so sweet. Sitting next to her on he the plane. He did on the plane. There. He wouldn't let me see his phone. I was like, what are you doing? It's like nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Proofread. I'm glad I proofread it. How is that though? When you when you see it, because you guys know how it unfolds, and obviously, you know, in television there is some editing. Mm -hmm. um, so what was that like for you? I mean, I watched the proposal a couple times and I was tearing up. It was such a beautiful moment then and just being able to watch it back was still so amazing and beautiful to see. I mean, I cried, so yeah. it was great for me. It was good to watch it back for me because uh, I was like so nervous. I didn't know we what both exactly I out. said. Like, Were you happy with the way you <laughs> I was. I think it good. came out good. Hopefully, maybe there was some editing. I mean, clearly, she was broken up with the whole Robbie. You're the, the triangle. Yeah, you know, know the whole time, you, uh, I just, uh, you gotta compartmentalize your you feelings do. in your relationship. So I was just thinking about her the whole time and making sure I, I told her everything I was feeling. I didn't want to miss anything. Right. And so that's what I was focused on. I guess what I didn't miss, that ring. <laughs> My goodness, can we get a shot of that? <laughs> I love Very that. beautiful. Oh, yeah. That is so <laughs> stunning. Did you pick that out? Did I did. You design? That's great. Thankfully, it was an easy decision. I got some in front of me and I, I knew right away. You did. Totally I was panicking. Knew. I thought there was gonna be down to two and I was like, I'm gonna pick the wrong one, but it was, I just knew. It so was, you knew about the ring. How soon into the process of being on the show, which you said was a leap of faith, did you know, oh my gosh, this is real. Oh I, I, I'm in love with this girl. It was a few weeks in, I knew I was falling for her, but you, you don't wanna get caught up in the moment. So I, I was always trying to ground myself and make sure those feelings were, were real. And then uh, on our one-on-one -on -one date in Uruguay, we had this moment on the boat back. Where oh we yeah, I remember of, the moment. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was with you. So do I, where, where we <laughs> just looked into each other's eyes and I knew I was falling in love with you her. Were. And it was just, I couldn't help it from that on, then and, on out. And how about you? It wasn't that long ago you were saying you had doubts before <laughs> the proposal about this guy. So yeah, what changed? You know what it was? I think just being in that situation, it's completely overwhelming as far as emotions. And I mean, I've never in my entire life dated more than one guy at the same time. So <laughs> I don't know if anyone ever can imagine what that's like. But when it came down to it, I knew that the moment that he proposed that there was no doubts in my mind. And, that's great. Um, it was just, it was such a great day for me. But yeah, incredibly emotional, very tough. The same day that I got engaged, I had to have a breakup, and that normally doesn't happen. No, 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 it's so. not normal, but we do so love it. You guys are gonna stand, we're gonna talk fashion, I'm gonna ask you a couple more questions about the future. Cause I wanna hear, and I'm sure right now you just wanna go to Chipotle, as you said last yes. night. Is it but, that uh, apparent yes. I talk about that much? <laughs>